PIAA playoffs underway in a number of different sports, one being volleyball over the weekend. Emmaus has had a tremendous year to this point and looking to get a little bit closer to that state championship game. Yeah. Heading into the quarterfinals, they had not lost a set in the postseason, which is pretty impressive being already into the state tournament. But the Emmaus boys did sail to a three-set victory, of course, over LaSalle College High School to advance to the PIAA quarterfinals, where the Hornets would meet first-place finisher out of District 1, Penridge, a team that took down Dallas Town in five sets in their first round matchup. Gwen Begley has a recap of Saturday afternoon showdown as the Hornets look to survive and advance. The Green Hornets keep rolling through their 2017 season now with 23 wins after a three set sweep in round one now facing the six seeded Penridge Rams. As expected, Penridge put up a challenge here in the first set with some back and forth action, but their star player Ben Chinichi contributes six of his match high 23 kills. The Rams get the edge over Emmaus taking the first set 26 to 24. Now that the Hornets have a feel for Penridge, they come out with a vengeance in the second set. That's an ace for Noah Bacon. They storm out to a 12 to 7 lead while Chinichi still fires at the court. Emmaus fires right back. Here's Bacon again slamming home one of his team high 15 kills. They breeze through the second set 25 to 14. After a nice little tip from Carson Landis to put the Hornets up 18 to 12 in the third, he finishes the job later on, slamming one to the hardwood for that final point. They win the third 25 to 22, with the fourth posing a bit of a challenge. Emmaus was in the lead, but a late comeback from Penn Ridge ignited the Rams to a fourth set victory 26 to 24. They would continue the momentum here in the fifth and final set, making it look like they had it in the bag, but nope, not so fast. Haig destroys that one to lift the Hornets into the lead. That's where they will stay. Jake Rumfield puts on the finishing touches, taking the fifth 15 to 11, defeating Penn Ridge in the quarterfinal three sets to two. They're a great team. I mean, we knew we knew that coming in, but they really they really brought it to us in the first game. And I think it took a game for us to figure them out a little bit and figure out what rotations are going to be our strongest and what what we have to do to make sure that we expose when we're in those rotations. So it was just a big momentum swing every single point, no matter how, like if they had three points, they would go they would go on a big run and then we'd go on a big run. It's just a lot of momentum swings in this game because of some great hitters on the court. That first set loss was all Emmaus needed to have the momentum shift into their favor. They haven't played five sets since Parkland earlier in this season. Coach says this is great preparation for the next round. We definitely weren't used to seeing uh, you know that kind of play all season. Um, it's been a pretty easy road, which has been a concern of mine. Um, so I think that first one, it, it, you know, it took a little bit for the boys to get their feet under them. They were deviating from our plan just a little bit. So you know, we reiterated that in the second set. You know, we we took care of the momentum and and we we had a fairly easy set knew they were going to come back so um, I, I'm just happy to see that they battled I would have rather not gone five my, my heart's a little uh, aged for that but um, you know I was glad to see they they battled as hard as they did and it's probably a great preparation for the next round the fact that we were able to come back that fifth set and how, how we battled in that second set to just take control of the game was absolutely amazing I, I couldn't be more proud to be on this team the pressure won't let up from here on out. Up next, the Hornets face the number one team out of District 3, Central York, who also happens to be ranked first in the state. That game will be held at Exeter Township High School on Tuesday. In Quakertown, I'm Gwen Begley for Two Sports. All right, so it's on to the final four for Emmaus. Best of luck to them. Again, Central York, a powerhouse, but I think Emmaus is probably playing their best volleyball mm -hmm. this season. And, and like they said, that helps going to five sets, playing in that pressure situation against a good team. So congratulations to them. Yeah, without question. Central Dolphin, North Allegheny, in the bottom half of that bracket in the semifinal set again for tomorrow night. Well, Central Capital.